joining me as we take a look at uh, your kind of uh, middle of the week work week forecast. Forecasts are going to be a little messed up as we go through the summer. Um, I'm uh, not available on quite as a consistent a schedule as the kids are out of school. So um, I'll have two forecasts a week. Just keep an eye on my social media. Um, one will probably come out somewhere in the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday range for kind of the work week. And then I'll uh, Fridays generally is a little easier um, schedule wise for me. So I'll probably for the most part have a weekend forecast on Friday. But I uh, just keep an eye on the social media if you're looking for my forecast. So uh, this is going to focus mostly on today, tomorrow, and Friday. Um, there will be a quick preview for your weekend forecast as well as we take a look at what's going on across the country here. Um, this satellite imagery really kind of shows the picture of what's going on. We have a trough in the eastern part of the United States, um, but this time of year, especially when the trough is located as it is, we're actually in very nice weather right now where um, uh, the high pressure system is located out to our west. Our low pressure system at the surface is off to our east now, and so we've cleared out most of the kind of clouds and showery weather that we've had yesterday, uh, Monday and Tuesday, basically this week. And now we're into some uh, Canadian air, which is nice and dry, uh, but still plenty warm as we've got plenty of heat from the sun um, now that we're in actually almost maximum solar uh, radi uh, solar <clears throat> um, radiation coming in this time of year, which means put the sunscreen on if you're outside. But um, Basically, nice weather for the next couple of days here before finally this uh, area of low pressure will start to approach the area Friday afternoon, evening, and into Saturday, really. Um, okay, uh, in terms of temperatures, you can see we do have this cool pocket, <clears throat> kind of nice sleeping weather here over the northeast, some 40s, uh, a lot of 50s here in southern Vermont. Um, nice weather, really, for sleeping and for, uh, you know, not just open those windows, no need for the air conditioning right now, which is always nice this time of year. What's the setup on the surface? Well, we've got the low pressure system that really affected us yesterday and the front that moved through with some of those showers and thunderstorms. Today, we're under full sun as this high pressure system way off to our west starts to anchor itself over the northeast um, and really kind of push. You can see that you've got clockwise flow around this low, counterclockwise around, um, or sorry, counterclockwise flow around the low, clockwise flow around the high, which is pushing in kind of light northwest winds to us, giving us that nice cool air. As we take a look um, later in the week by Friday, um, next storm does start to approach. Uh, basically, uh, just some high clouds in by late, late in the day on Friday, but basically a sunny day on Friday as well. Um, really Saturday morning and into Saturday is when we have a chance for the next round of showers and thunderstorms as this front moves through. Um, you'll see in the forecast as we look at that right now. Uh, in terms of that, let's see. So we're low 70s today. It does start to warm up a little bit um, as we uh, and some of that cool air is, is um, hit with the sun as, uh, as it comes south. And so that does sort of slowly warm us up uh, Thursday and Friday um, as we start slightly below average. It's actually not too far from average this time of year, low 70s, probably slightly below average. Today, full sun, low 70s. Tomorrow, mid 70s, uh, really close to average. And by Friday, we're getting maybe even slightly a touch above average in the upper 70s, increasing clouds. And uh, just as a quick preview for the weekend, uh, a little bit pretty warm this weekend, uh, low 80s, could touch 80 on Sunday as well. Um, the only real chance for rain in the next five days is some scattered storms on Saturday. Won't be a full washout on Saturday either, though. Could have a few rounds of showers and other storms, kind of like yesterday, right? Could see some sun, then we could see some showers. Not a terrible day, but not a great day if you've got outdoor activities that you really need to be dry for. Otherwise, it's basically dry for the next five days. In terms of outdoor activities, um, over the next three days, we're basically looking at Great weather to for outdoor activities. Um, better for swimming as we head a little bit later in the week as it'll be warmer. Today's a great day. If you got outdoor work, if you've got uh, you want to go for a hike or run, you can go any time of the day. Really great day for that kind of activities uh, today. So thanks for joining me for a quick look at our the end of the week forecast. I'll be back on Friday with a look at the weekend forecast, um, and then uh, which will probably carry through into the beginning of next week as next Monday I'm not available for forecasting either. And otherwise, uh, my patrons will get a look, a detailed look at the weekend forecast um, coming up today, and everybody else will get that on Friday. All right. Thanks for joining me. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, I'd encourage you to do that. And once again, if you want to get that weekend forecast um, every Wednesday, uh, go ahead and uh, check out what how you can do, how you can do that by becoming a patron.